Hi guys, my name is Sabine, and yes, I am back from America, even though you might not see it because I don't really have a tan. <laughs> an amazing journey, an amazing trip, and I vlogged almost every single day. I sometimes failed at vlogging. I just forgot it, or I was just like, nope, not vlogging in this public room right now. All the people will be staring at me, but I did vlog quite a lot of the days, so I will be editing those videos in the next upcoming two to three weeks. If you want to see those videos, please subscribe to my channel, and maybe if you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, you saw everything that I did on this journey because I spammed Snapchat. So let me know in the comments if you followed me on snapchat and if you saw everything from my journey uh, I would love to know if some of you guys followed me so yeah you read the title this is my America and August book haul because I went to Barnes and Nobles when I was in America and it was an amazing amazing experience because here in Holland we do have like bookstores but they just don't really have a super big English young adult literature section and Barnes and Nobles was like 50% or more young adult literature in English, of course, because they speak English in America. I was just in my happy place there, and we went twice to the same Barnes & Nobles in Sarasota, and I bought two books, because Barnes & Nobles is expensive, and one of these books is, again, one of my most expensive books that I've ever bought. The first book that I bought was a book that was also on my summer TBR video, and I just saw this hardcover on the German Amazon for 17 or 18 euros, and I just don't want to pay that much money for a hardcover. Like, the maximum amount of money that I want to spend on a hardcover is usually around 15 euros, because I think that that is a reasonable price for a hardcover. I only pay like 17 or 18 euros for a hardcover that I really need to have. And this was not like a book that I really wanted to have, but a book that I just wanted to have. And in Barnes & Nobles this was $18, but they also had like a um, reduction going on, which was like 20% off the book. So I got this book for $14, which I think is a pretty good deal. And right now I'll just show you the book. And that is The Way Back to You by Michelle Adriani and Mindy Scott. This cover is freaking gorgeous because I'm a sucker for sunset and there's some sort of like sunset -y thing going on. This book is about a girl who lost her life and she's an organ donor so she after she passed away she gave away her organs well she technically didn't do it herself but you guys know what I mean and her best friend and boyfriend are planning on visiting all the people that got her organs sounds like a pretty heavy read but also a pretty fun one because it involves road trips as you can see you have like a girl here on the front cover when you remove the dust jacket you have an imprint of that girl too but you can't really see it so I'm sorry I'm super excited to read this one and I am really happy that I'll be able to put this on my shelves by the way you guys probably saw that I have two other additions to my Funko Pop collection. Welcome to Luna Lovegood, which I also bought at Barnes & Noble. So I'll make a separate video from just like all the things that I got in America. And if I have uploaded that one, probably not when this video will be up, but I will leave like a link somewhere on the screen when I have uploaded my America haul. I of course also have bought Hermione Granger. Oh my God, I'm just, I'm just too happy with these Funko Pops. Like you can't really do anything with them, but they're just so cute to look at. And the second book that I got, of course, of course I also needed to get that one. And that is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two. And this book was 20, Four dollars. It was actually thirty dollars, I think. Yeah, thirty US dollars. But it again had like a twenty or thirty percent off because it was like the summer releases. I bought this book the day after the release date because everyone was just like, nope, sorry, the book is sold out. But I did get a first edition, and that was my mission to get a first edition. I still need to read Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, and then I'll be able to read this one. But I'm just so happy with it. I'm still disappointed that this is not a book book. You know what I mean? It's a script in a book. And I hope that I'll be able to read it just the same way as a normal book would be to me. I also pre-ordered a book, and I forgot that I pre-ordered it. It arrived yesterday, and I'm so happy that I got it. And it is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover's paperbacks are always super expensive. They're like 15 euros per paperback. And this one was really cheap. It was like almost 9 euros. And I was like, I need to pre-order it. I mean, this is my only chance to get a cheap Colleen Hoover book. And I know that this story is going to be great. It is apparently about a girl who falls in love with a surgeon or something and then an old love comes back 
not too sure about it, don't believe me, just look it up on Goodreads because I just cannot give summaries. And right now onto the unboxing part. And this is a package from a different site that I usually buy from. So I'm from Holland, but I usually buy my books from the German Amazon site because their prices are just so on point. They have the cheapest books, plus their shipping is free, which I think is great. But we also have this Dutch site, which is called Bol.com, so I got a package from that site. But this site is usually a lot more expensive than Amazon, but I had a coupon code, plus they had a book in an edition that I really wanted. And for once, there was a book that was cheaper on this site than on the Amazon site. But these are the books that I just wanted to get in America, but they are just too heavy to just bring along with my suitcase. My nails are gonna be broke and I don't want to break them. Ugh. Okay, guys, I am so... Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. And it is City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. And this is the version that I wanted to get. This is the UK edition. I have read City of Bones, really loved it, but I only had City of Ashes on my shelf. I have it right there. And I was just like, when I finish that book, City of Ashes, I don't have the third book to continue on with. And Book Depository hasn't had City of Glass in stock for a couple of months right now. And they emailed me and they said that it probably won't be in stock for the next couple of months. And I was just like, well, um, okay then, uh, thank you. And then someone commented in one of my latest videos that City of Glass was also on bull.com. So I got it so beautiful. And right now I can read City of Ashes and then afterwards read City of Glass and I'm just so happy about it. So now the two books that I'm just like so excited for, I'm just so happy that I finally have this and it is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Madsen. Oh my God. This book is so beautiful. So I was at Barnes and Nobles and I bought Harry Potter, but I also was like, maybe I should get another book. But this one is just too heavy to take with me. This book is too gorgeous and I love Morgan Matson way too much to not buy her book. And you all know that this book is freaking gorgeous without the dust jacket, but then of course it just, this dust jacket is just amazing. You know, did I say excited already? Because that's like a word that I definitely don't use a lot, excited. I'm totally not excited for this book, guys. This last book is making me so happy. This is so freaking huge and I'm so happy about it. You already know what I got and it is A Court of Mist and Fury by Miss Sarah J Mass. This book is even larger now that I'm holding it. Oh, I'm so happy with this one, oh my God. So while I was in America, I read a good chunk of A Court of Thorns and Roses and I still need to finish this little teeny tiny bit and I hope that I'll be able to finish this this weekend, I was just like, I need to get the sequel because I'm really enjoying A Court of Thorns and Roses in contrast to what a lot of other people think. I'm really enjoying it. I love the world. I just love it. So I got the second one and I'm just really happy that I got it and I cannot wait to read this. I'll probably read this very soon, like probably this summer because it's a chunk of a book. I just want to put my full attention to this book so that is why I'll probably read this during the summer because I don't have school. I don't have anything to worry about. Hi guys, so it's a day later and I'm filming this from a different angle because I don't want to set up my whole camera again because there's like my bookshelf and is my room is a mess. Don't look at that. But I got another package and I didn't expect to get this package within the couple of next two to three weeks. So let me tell you that I won my very first giveaway. I've never won anything before. So I entered the giveaway that the booktube couple did and they had all these like really cool books that I gave away. Yeah, I think that this is the book. I'm pretty sure that it is. So just, <sighs> yeah, it's the book. This is Autumn in the City of Angels by Kirby Howell. And Kirby Howell are actually two authors. So they are Denna Melton and Jessica Alexander. Apparently this is like, an apocalypse book and apocalypse things are like my jam like you guys know i love the walking dead the walking dead is one of my favorite shows of all time i just wanted to say thank you to the booktube couple for doing this giveaway and i know that it's like they pick the winners randomly but still i'm just really happy that i won it thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos those vlogs will be coming pretty soon you guys can follow me on my other social media pages which are instagram snapchat and Goodreads and I also have an email address if you guys want to contact me. I will leave all those links in the description down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!